Hey guys, what's going on? Crestline Boy here, back today with another video. Today we are going to be doing the finale of my Soul Silver randomized Nuzlocke. If you haven't seen it so far, I've been streaming it over on twitch.tv slash Crestline Boy. I'll put the link in the description. Go check it out. I highly recommend it. I play all sorts of games and stuff. But anyway, let's get on to the Nuzlocke. As you can see on screen, I've gotten all 16 badges for the Johto and Kanto region. So we are ready to take on the Elite Four for the second time. Now on my stream, I said that the Nuzlocke would be completed once I beat Red and Mount Silver. But I decided that that's going to take me way too long. And you guys don't want to wait for that. So I just thought I'd cut it short and go with completing the Nuzlocke by beating the Elite Four for the second time i'm planning on using the current party that i have now but in addition to that i still have one more pokemon to get and that is the legendary ho-oh or whatever pokemon it's going to be because it is a randomized nuzlocke however it will be a guaranteed legendary because that is the setting i set that all normal pokemon are normal and all legendary pokemon are legendary they're just randomized now we should have the rainbow wing and whatever the hell bell we need to summon a ho-oh so let's go over to eretic city and yeah fly on a little tail in addition to that i believe i should have have the master ball because you get one in every game but i got an extra one because items are randomized as well so yes i do have an extra master ball that we can use to catch this ho-oh nice and easy especially because it's level 70 we'll probably get rid of either mamoswine bryce or clutch i want to keep caleb on the team because he's the third highest level plus he's a jolteon and electric type so let's quickly run over and normally you can't pass this guy on the ladder but now that i have the rainbow wing i should be able to all right so now basically we have to run through this we should also throw on repel and also on my Twitch, you can claim with channel points that I name a Pokemon after you. You can pick a Pokemon or it'll be just my next Pokemon. Uh, somebody claimed it. Uh, his name is Unsympathetic. So I'm going to be naming whatever this legendary is to Uns. All right, we got the max repels now. Let's keep moving. I mean, it's not really a puzzle, so it shouldn't be too hard to get through. It may only be hard if like you're going for every single item and you can't see where you have to jump. So you kind of have to guess right there and boom. All right, now this one's more of a puzzle. I think you have to go like this way maybe and we might need to pick up that item i believe it's that ladder you're meant to go to we can try it and if it doesn't work out we'll go to a different ladder and then as long as we're right here we might as well grab this item as well ether eh. actually ethers and elixirs will be useful when fighting the elite four because we can't heal and we won't get our moves back that was the wrong way to go is there a ladder up here there is is this the right ladder though that is the question it appears to be the right ladder so we're gonna keep going along this route grab this item to go back down this way down this ladder and back to that top left ladder grab another free item why not we're gonna just be jumping 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 my for alligators jumping with me pretty pog pretty pog and up this ladder let's keep her going we should go down here this way yeah there we go okay this should be our next way up another free item uh a shiny stone pretty useless okay Oh, this one's a bit more tricky because now you're involving warp pads. Now, this part's going to be a bit tricky to figure out. Unless, are we going to get it first try? That is the question. No, but we do get a free item out of it. The more ethers and elixirs, the better. Because it'll help us all the more when we fight the champion and the elite four. I think that means we go back on this warp pad. We go on this one. And I think we're meant to go across, actually. All right. I, I believe this one should be the correct one now. So this should be the correct one, hopefully. Okay, free item, flame plate. Don't really have fire mon, but if we get, if we actually get a ho oh, it'll be useful. Looking promising. We're not backtracking. Free item. Right, come on. Okay, this should be the final letter, I believe. Nope. We got one more. Boom. There is the beautiful ho oh. Shall we? Come on, give me a good legendary. Give me a good legendary. It's an actual ho-oh. We're going to throw this master ball. Get that easy ho-oh. Yes, my man. So we have a flying fire type. And of course, per Nuzlocke rules, you have to rename it. And we are going to name it Uns after uh, one of our supporters who claimed to name a Pokemon after me. We're going to quickly fly to the Pokemon Center. We're going to take this ho-oh and switch him out with our little tail -o. Let's check him out. I believe in the battle I saw that he has maybe snow warning. Yeah, summons a hailstorm in battle. And actually... Actually, Sacred Ash. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it out and uh, give him the Flame Plate. We should actually check out what moves Ho -Oh has. He has Sacred Fire, Punishment, Ancient Power, and Safeguard. All right, first of all, we want to teach him Fly. Get rid of Punishment. Oh, we do have Overheat, actually. Yeah, we'll get rid of Sacred Fire. I wonder if it can learn Psychic. If it can, we're definitely going to teach it. Because Psychic's a pretty... Yes, it can learn Psychic. So we're going to teach it Psychic as well. We'll get rid of Safeguard. Let's see. I don't think it can learn Shadow Ball, can it? It can. This is going to be a pretty 
pretty powerful mon. Let me check. Summary, I think he's carrying the Mystic Water. Yep, that'll boost his water types. Amulet Coin, we're gonna wanna switch that out. So we are going to go with the leftovers on, on Gengar. We should have, yep, Zap Blade. We'll throw that on our Jolteon. Actually, also gonna wanna teach some moves to Jolteon. Shockwave could be good, let's see. Let's see, he has Thunderfang, Bite, Headbutt. We'll get, yeah, we'll get rid of Last Resort. Our team is looking pretty good. We'll throw the XP share on Manny real quick. Yes, we'll use our work handy. We'll use it on Jin Carry, why not? We'll just stock up on some items real quick. 20 of each should be good, and we already have 10 of each, so we'll just buy 10 more of each. We're gonna buy some full restores as well, why not? Make it a nice even 50. And we'll buy some max potions as well. Make it a nice even 50 as well. And we'll buy some hyper potions. Why not? Make it a nice even 100. And now we're out of money, but that is okay. I think we are ready to finally take on the Elite Four and the Champion for the second time. And finally completing this Nuzlocke. All right, save real quick. And let's do this. Cool trainer, Jonathan. Who's he going to throw up first? Drapion. We're just going to go through this, and we're going to speed up, just make it a bit faster. Okay, Crunch doesn't do that much. We'll do Waterfall then. Crit, so it should be good. Yeah, we'll do Waterfall or not. We know he'll use a full restore anyway, so that is good. Do another Waterfall to take him out, and he's gone. Next is Cacnea. We're going to switch out to our Ho-Oh. Oh, right, we only have Overheat. Might as well use it to easily take him out. Okay, Fioni. You know, we're switched to Caleb. He's going to be kind of useless against the champion, so we might as well see what he can pull out now. Ooh, okay, that was only a crit, actually. He can survive at least one hit from Fioni. Maybe two. We'll use a hyper potion real quick. Water pulse. Ooh, confused. All right, we're going to pull out one of the many, many, many uh, full restores we have. Just get rid of that confusion and heal up as well. Of course, another thing missed, but they use Aqua Ring. So we should be able to take it out here. Let's go, Caleb. Let's go. Beldum is steel, I believe. So we're going to switch to Ho-Oh. We're going to use Overheat. Oh, Overheat missed. Absolutely fantastic. Missed again. Ho-Oh just does not want to hit a shot. There we go. Overheat. Easy peasy. Ampharos. I think we're going to want to switch to Gengar for this one. Uh, we'll do Shadow Ball. Ooh, crit hit. Okay, just charge. All right, we're fine. A little bit of hail. We're going to use Dark Pulse. And it wasn't in the red, so it didn't use the full restore. So we should be good. Fennel Moth. You know, we'll stay in, we'll stay in with uh, Gengar. Okay, we should be able to. Ooh, Psychic. I did not know it had Psychic. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. That could have been really bad. Okay, Zen Headbutt. We should outspeed, so we can just go with the Shadow Ball to finish it off. You can tell I'm not that great in those locks, but we did beat the first Elite Four trainer. We heal up our mind and go fight the next Elite Four member. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? We got Mantine up first. We can't get a clean switch for our Jolteon, so we're just going to stay in with her Alligator. And all right, we got their defense down a bit, so this Crunch should kill. For Victory Bell, we're going to switch into our Ho-Oh. Oh, his Drizzle made it rain, so we won't be taking damage. From that hail and we got the one hit on it onyx and we'll get a nice waterfall hopefully that should one shot potentially yes it does super effective toros we could give bryce a chance but he's probably gonna be useless in this fight and it'll be good to keep him in case we need to sack off a mon we should go with the waterfall because it is raining and we do have increased attack and of course he has dry skin Okay, his defense fell. Mm, he's confused. We're going to heal. All right, it hurts himself in confusion. And it'll probably go with a full restore. Yep. But, oh, his defense was very low, though. This should take him out, potentially. Okay, Giga Impact didn't do too much. All right, who do we have next? Next, we have Gastrodon. We're going to stay in with for Alligator. I outspeed, so I just finish him off. And his last mon is a Dunsparce heal just to make sure we don't risk our for alligator and he used dig interesting we one shot his last mod that is half of the elite four done we should be good we'll move on all right we got the next guy okay starts with, with a budu once again can't get a clean switch so we're just gonna take him out with for alligator he's still a one shot easy mysterious i think it's ghost so we should be able to just one shot with crunch almost okay we get me to waste that full restore and hopefully this crunch takes it out this time yes we get that higher roll on it next is staravia we're gonna stick with jen carry crit on the staravia next up we have salamant so we're gonna stay in with for alligator and we're gonna go with waterfall oh you 
let's fly interesting we're gonna heal up real quick i think even at a high roll from the cellmance we should survive a crit i think they still have one full restore oh actually no because if he flies then they can't use a full restore we take him out and we're gonna finish off with machop we shouldn't need to heal here boom one shot the machop a shop it uh we'll switch in to gengar and we should be able to take him out with one shadow ball all right that is three fourths of the reap we're done we'll give him some crunch back and yeah we only have one more ether so i'm thinking we want to use it wisely now it is time for the last elite four member of course it's gonna be a freaking legendary latias attack fell that is not good so we're gonna probably want to use yeah if it's gonna lower our attack we're gonna want to use special moves he keeps lowering my attack and of course he has recovered this is the most annoying latias ever we might actually want to start using some crunches this is very very annoying oh we got that super effective crit on that latias let us let's go we're gonna want to use special attacks on him we should be able to take him out with this one next up we have ambi palm we surf so we we'll use another surf typhlosion obviously we're gonna stay in with our water type pokemon use double edge we should be fine to use another surf all right now aaron use surf boom perfect all right the last one on is a charmeleon my shadow ball should two shot it and we beat the last mon of the elite four let's go all right that is all of the elite four done all right let's do this actually let's let's take a look at our pokemon real quick okay we should probably replace overheat with a move yeah we'll throw arrow lace on ho oh why not and we should be ready to fight lance now all right what's the first one gonna be huntail we want to conserve our crunches so i think we'll go Ooh, a crit on the first cut that's actually pretty good okay he's gonna use a full restore we're just gonna keep cutting away okay yep there's the crit dive once again one more cut should take him out arrow lace should kill all right nice 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 a weasel we'll switch into wolf why not oh we went out with shadow ball anyway so shell loss rain dance muddy water yeah we'll just go with cuts on him of course this mon has recover why does recover have to be so annoying oh my god okay my accuracy is still being lowered but we're still hitting oh my god how many more recovers does this dude have muddy water heal i hope his next mons are as easy as this just not as annoying even if they're more annoying than this as long as they're easy body slam i think he's out of muddy waters though okay he got the para we will full restore all right we're gonna have to go with crunches okay crit we want to try and save that one crunch we'll just go with surfs here all right cool i think two months left del caddy fake out oh and he is sing okay yep this pokemon is easy but he's also super annoying that's fun all right sing sleep again let's go we use full restore honestly i'd rather take an easy fight than a super super hard fight sing okay defeat the mon please oh my god all right the dog caddy's down last mon is gonna be a wigglytuff we're gonna go with crunch it has sing as well so it also is annoying so we're gonna go with our ho-oh instead we'll go with psychic why not shadow all right shadow ball doesn't affect it we're gonna use full restore here yep it's a hyper potion this shouldn't be a problem unless they want to decide to use sing double slap and psychic is now disabled cool why didn't do too much though okay and this last psychic should finish it off unless they use a full restore great okay we don't die to hail but we do need to heal up of course as soon as i heal they use sing oh this is the most annoying champion fight ever at least if it was hard it would be more exciting but this is just boring because it's easy and they're annoying so the psychic take it out yes it will with the final crit hit the champion has been defeated and i declare the soul silver randomized nuzlocke complete we're gonna go down to the hall of records get our name written down for the second time i am now the champion again here's our team though hall of fame jin carry next up we have gengar mr wolf then we have mr ho oh which who had just met then we got caleb or jolteon i think he he did good in like one fight he was useful but then the other two pokemon did not make an appearance such as manny the mammoth swine and bryce the machamp also he almost did but i figured i would save him to sag him off although we never had to so that's good here's our winning team damn almost 44 hours in the game you can show how long i've like i grinded some of these mods 
there we go the end that is a soul silver nuzlocke done after this is either pokemon pearl or pokemon platinum nuzlocke i'm thinking platinum because it's a bit more exciting within a distortion world but we'll see thank you so much for watching go check out my other videos and go check out my twitch link in the description and i'll see you guys later peace